Stanford Hospital is inviting people to learn more about colon cancer prevention. With this colon in the background, the main thing is to try to get people aware of what colon cancer is. The stroll in colon is an interactive display people can walk through to learn more about the disease. We're looking for anything which looks abnormal. As part of Colon Cancer Awareness Month. It's also the second uh, cancer killer in the nation. The American Cancer Society says it's also the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in men and women. An estimated 50,000 will die from the disease in the U.S., but the Colon Cancer Alliance says it's 90 percent beatable when caught early. About 90 percent of colon cancers are diagnosed after the age of 40, but that being said, it can affect anyone, so everyone is at risk. I have seen it in younger people, but usually it's after the age of 40. We recommend that most people start getting their screenings, whether they have, even if they don't have any symptoms, starting at age 50. Colon cancer doesn't always, you know, cause symptoms, and that's the problem. Oncology dietitian Lisa Shepard says 90% of the body's immune system is located in the intestines, making what you eat even more essential for colon health. Fiber is really the, one of the most important things. Of course, you want to reduce animal meat, you want to reduce red meat, you want to reduce trans fats and processed foods and sugars. Fiber has protective um, roles in preventing colon cancer. The exhibit will be on display again tomorrow, March 7th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Tully Health Center. In Stanford, Christina Chiarelli, itsrelevant.com.